Hey friends, today I'm going to talk to you about the thing that makes me really pissed off about being an American abroad. So most Americans don't know this and unfortunately most Americans living abroad aren't aware either until the IRS shows up at their door. But when you live abroad, as an American citizen, you have to declare taxes and in some cases pay taxes every single year for the rest of your life, for your entire life, unless you basically don't make any money. I think I, as a married person, who doesn't have a husband with a social security number. So I'm obligated to, you know, married filing separately. That's the one I have to go for. Last time I checked, I think it would have to make something like less than $4,000 a year if I wanted to be exempt from needing to declare taxes. It is royal pain in the butt. I have not earned an American dollar in, what, seven or eight years. I still have to do this every single year. It's incredibly complicated because obviously we don't have W-2 forms here. So you have to figure out your income, convert it into dollars and then you have to all of the extra stuff like you have to fill out loads and loads of forms you have to fill out forms about your foreign bank account if you ever have more than ten thousand dollars in your bank account which i hope for you you do someday because how else you're gonna buy a house otherwise and as a freelancer living abroad it is a pain in the but there are so many forms to fill out. You don't really know if you're doing it right. I've talked to quite a few other Americans and either they don't know they have this obligation or they're doing it and they're just crossing their fingers and hoping for the best and they have no idea. I did look into hiring somebody to do my taxes just once and then I could copy it, but it would cost one fourth of my income. That's before taxes. So after you take off French taxes, it would be about a third of my income. A third of my income, four months of income to pay this tax expert who knows all of the tax laws in France as well as the US so that he would be able to really truly correctly do this paperwork. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And just so we're clear, this is not a normal thing for normal countries. This is only something they do in dictatorships such as North Korea and I think the country is called Atria, Atria. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I just looked this up on Wikipedia really fast before making this video. Those two countries along with the US are the only three countries in the entire world that have this stupid taxation of citizens abroad. Keep in mind, I have no services from the US. I don't get any Medicare or social security benefits. I never will. As long as I'm living abroad, I never will. I have no intention to ever move back to the States. And if I want to give up my citizenship, which is like a drastic move, it's going to cost me like $3,000. Maybe you're a family living abroad and you decide you're like, well, I had a baby here, so might as well get my kid US citizenship. What a blessing that will be for them. No, it is condemning your child to a lifetime of paperwork that they may not understand and that could potentially end them up in jail or paying millions of dollars in fines to the US. Whether or not you're going to have to pay taxes is super complicated. In in France, they have a treaty with the US, so as long as you make under a certain amount, you don't have to pay, pay taxes in America, but you do have to declare them unless you're touching um, unemployment. And because unemployment is not taxed in France, it does have to be taxed in the US. And also on a retirement plan, because I, you know, I'd like to retire someday and was like looking into investing in a retirement plan and found out that in certain cases, I would be taxed up to three times. <laughs> I'm not happy. I'm really, really not happy about this. So basically, I can't save for retirement under my own name. I have to, if I wanted to do that, I would have to do it under my husband's name, like just have my husband save for retirement because he is lucky to not be a US citizen. <sighs> this makes me so mad. Keep in mind the US is taxing all citizens. So there are people living abroad or there where their parents were like, hey, I just had a new baby. I'm an American living abroad. Let's stick on that citizen, citizen I can't say the word today, ah, citizenship sticker and get them their American passport and they're all proud. And then the kid grows up never really speaking English. They make minimum wage and they are still obligated to pay taxes or declare taxes to the US depending on what country they live in, even if they never ever step foot in the US, even if they don't speak English, they'll have no ties to the US other than happening to have a parent who is an American citizen, as well as people that, you know, they just have their parents were on vacation and they were born in the US, so they're accidentally an American. They call these accidental Americans. They're, they accidentally got citizenship. There was a lady I was reading about recently in an article here who lived in the US for 18 months as a baby. Her parents never got citizenship, but she happened to be born there while well, they were, I don't know if they were doing study abroad or what but they were living abroad for a short period of time while she was a baby she doesn't speak any English and she makes minimum wage in France and found out she owes thousands of dollars to the IRS because she's never declared her taxes in the US because why the hell would she like it's so stupid I'm sorry this is like the subject that makes me so so mad with the new tax treaty that the Republicans you know worked out there last year that you know 
With the new tax treaty that Republicans worked out, they promised how they were going to make it easier for Americans abroad, they were going to you know, lighten the tax burden, and they made it a million times worse. If you have a business abroad, keep in mind, many of these people are accidental Americans, they have no ties to America, they don't speak English, nothing. There's one guy who lived in Germany his entire life, okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. They have to pay these suddenly these back taxes because the US they made this new tax law where businesses have to pay a retroactive tax on money they made abroad. Even if you're like living abroad 365 days out of the year, you have zero intention to ever live in the US, you never touched a dollar in your life, you still are responsible for paying this tax, not just this year, but retroactively as well. This is a retroactive law. So now these companies abroad that have nothing to do with the US other than like their their owner or the person who started them happened to be an American citizen, they have to pay back taxes. There's a guy in Germany who I think he does speak English. One of his parents was an American abroad and so he got citizenship when he was a baby, but he doesn't live in America, has no intention to ever live in America. He built up this um, business around the, the fact that, he, I don't know, something, an engineering business. He's an engineer. So he worked really hard, went years for school, and when this new tax law went into place, suddenly he found out he owes the US more than a million dollars. Why should he have to pay the US? Now, if you're thinking, well, okay, more money for us, you know, we don't care about what everybody else. It doesn't actually make the US more money. It costs the US more money to implement this and to go harass poor people living abroad than it does if they didn't have the program at all. Originally, the idea was this would prevent fraud, people moving abroad to like hide all their money and stuff, but it has a pretty poor job of preventing fraud. and it costs the US more money than it makes them. They spend more money <laughs> chasing these people down than they actually get back. So if you're watching this in the comfort of your home in America, you as a taxpayer are paying money so that the IRS can go harass poor people living abroad. I mean, they harass the rich people as well. But why should somebody who's making minimum wage in a foreign country who doesn't even speak English, who has no ties to the US other than they happen to be born there and they lived there a couple months as a baby, why should this person have to pay the US thousands of dollars or risk going into prison? I mean, it's it's so stupid. If you're thinking, I'm an American abroad, but I don't have to pay taxes because like I don't make any US money, I only make, you know, British pounds or whatever. You do, you do. All US citizens have to pay taxes for their entire life or declare taxes, sorry. You don't always have to pay them or declare taxes for their entire life to the US government. But if you ever make more than $100,000 and you live in France or quite a few other countries that have this treaty, then you have to pay taxes to your home country as well as to the US. So basically, it's, it's just ridiculous. It makes it really hard for you to ever accumulate wealth because if you even if you were to make over a hundred thousand dollars and you're like well I'd be kind of worth it anyways even if I paid more taxes because I'd still be making more money you might not because you're also going to have to fork over like 5,000 euros to a tax expert every year it would be fun it would be fun. I'm really mad about this. So the moral of the story here is uh, contact your senators, <laughs> tell them to stop harassing poor people abroad that have no connections to the US or have no intention to ever live there again. It's kind of horrible that you have to give up your US citizenship, like something that you know, like it's more of an emotional thing than something that you really need, but your connection to family, any possibility to ever moving back to the US easily, you have to give all that up in order to not have to, you know, comply to this dictatorship mentality. Of course, I've obviously, for all of the crazy people who like to misinterpret things in the comments, I'm not at all saying the US is a dictatorship. It's just that this is a practice that the US does that only exists in dictatorships. So interpret that how you will. Yeah, if you have kids abroad, avoid getting them US citizenship if you think there's a chance that they might not live in the US. Obviously, if you're planning on moving back to the US within two or three years, it's worth getting them the citizenship. But if they might never live in the US, it's probably worth it to just not do anything. Also, if you're a US citizen, make sure you fill out your taxes in the next few months. You have until June. As a citizen abroad, you have two extra months to fill out your taxes compared to regular citizens. But yeah, I'm gonna wish you best of luck. Hope none of you innocent people, poor people, end up in prison because of this stupid law. And yeah, have a great day.